You know, preparing for a hurricane includes stocking up on the basics like food, water, and supplies. We all know that. It also means you need to make sure you have your medications. But one Hernando County man discovered that's sometimes easier said than done. Trevor Sohaki is in studio with his story tonight. Jen Keith, thankfully, this story is not a tragedy, but it is a word of warning. David Small saw in the news he should get his prescription medication refilled for Ian. But when he went to do exactly that, it wasn't as easy as he thought. I couldn't sleep. I, I was nauseous. I didn't eat. I mean, I kept thinking the worst. David Small's anxiety was getting worse. As Hurricane Ian barreled toward Florida, path still unclear, Small got his kit ready. He had enough of everything but his opioid pain medication, oxycodone. With the pain medication, I have my aches and pains. There are days I can't get out of bed. Without it, I don't know how I could even fathom getting to safety. The Spring Hill resident lost his leg years ago due to a tumor and a lupus flare-up. He thought he could get an emergency 30-day refill and made call after call to his insurance company, Florida Blue. I'm going to have to wait till Monday. They're not, we're not open. Nobody's here to take your order. Um, Should have thought about this before now. In a statement, Florida Blue said prescription drugs that are highly regulated by the state, such as opioids and amphetamines, are not eligible for automatic early refills. Florida Blue said if a member needs a refill of a controlled medication, speak with your pharmacist and call a toll-free number on the back of your insurance card. Small called and called and called. There's a Florida statute that requires that pharmacists and doctors be able to issue and fill a 30-day supply once the governor has issued the emergency declaration. Ryan Terry is the public information officer for the Florida Department of Health in Hillsborough County. Because it's not just to get you through the storm, it's also to prepare you for after the storm when you may not have easy access to your pharmacy or doctor. Small spoke with various Florida Blue representatives and felt turned around. Finally, he got his medication overnighted to him. It arrived Tuesday afternoon, about 24 hours before Ian made landfall. Now, Small wants it to be easier for people like him to get the medicines they need. And Florida Blue also said any time the governor issues a state of emergency order for an event like a hurricane, we adjust our prescription refill policies in the areas that are impacted by that order. Mm -hmm. Medical experts also recommend not using mail order pharmacies with controlled substances right. if, you need to, if you need early access to that medication. They also say it's best to keep those prescriptions at the same pharmacy month after month. Because, obviously, Jen and Keith, that looks a little suspicious. Mm -hmm. But uh, if people want to get their prescriptions early, mm -hmm. uh, what, what can you do? I mean, you see a storm approaching and you got a timetable of a short window. It's a couple of days. What do you do? So there is one trick. It's called a vacation exception. It's exactly what you think. A one-time exemption to get your medications, usually due to like a long vacation or something like that. But it can be used for hurricanes and other disasters. It's probably smart to call on a weekday, as we saw in that package. When it happens on a weekend, right. it can get tricky. And it is a once-a-year exception, though. So if you use it and then there's another emergency, well, you're going to need to speak with your insurance or your pharmacy. Some hoops to jump through. Indeed. But worth it, based on what you just showed us there. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Trevor. Thank mm -hmm. you.